G'day, I'm Eddie Springer from Springer Solar and as part of our 12 volt technical series, I want to show you inside this uh, Jayco Silverline we have here to show you a few of the modifications we've done on it and some of the capabilities we can get from installing high quality systems into your RV or caravan. So this uh, silver line here comes with the standard uh, J-Hub display, allows you to control absolutely everything inside the van from the slide out uh, to the lighting circuits and everything in between. We've added a system in this van that allows us to see more than just a standard J-Hub display. So although on this unit we can turn the lights on and off, we also have the ability to interrogate our battery system in this see energy in through our inverter charger, through our battery monitor. We could also hotspot to this display with our phone and allow remote back to base troubleshooting of the system. Uh, Springer Solar could, with the right uh, protocols through the owner, hotspot their phone to this device, connect through to the inverter or the lithium batteries, troubleshoot, change firmware settings, update the system, and allow them a little bit more peace of mind on the road to ensure that, that, that things can uh, be rectified while they're on the road or the peace of mind of knowing that they do have the ability to talk to someone about their system and see what's happening remotely while they're traveling. So, so come inside with me and I'll, uh, I'll show you a few of the, uh, few of the items. Okay, so you can see a bit of uh, blue equipment in here. I'll go through each device and, and give you an explanation of what they are. A lot of the gear in here we've spoken about in previous talks. So this is a combination of everything we've been talking about all into one van. It's not essential that you have all of this stuff, but this is a bit of a showcase van uh, to detail what is possible. So we'll start up the back here. Two lithium batteries both 160 amp hour, so 320 amp hour total capacity of lithium batteries in this van. Plenty of storage capacity for the 700 watts of solar that's on the roof. Now it's inside the shed at the moment, so we're not gonna see any uh, incoming energy from the solar system, but I'll show you a few things when we turn things on and off so we can see uh, what's happening on the display. What you can see here is the, uh, is the Victron uh, color control display. So this tablet comes with the Jayco van. Uh, the standard uh, setup you get on this is what's uh, through the J-Hub display. So this allows you to control uh, lighting, slide outs, see water tank levels. Um, we just add a, a, another feature to this to give, it, give a little bit more data, which is the Venus display or the Victron Venus display. So we can see energy in, battery state of charge, have a battery monitor tucked away in the back corner there. So again, all the things we've been talking about. Lithium batteries require a battery monitor so we can determine state of charge. That's connected in through this system. Wi-Fi from the device down there up onto the uh, remote tablet. So two lithium batteries. Down in this bottom corner here, our 12 volt uh, inverter charger, 3000 watt inverter with 120 amp uh, output charger. Now this inverter does have a built-in transfer switch. So while we're connected to mains power, the inverter determines it can see mains energy and allows that energy to transfer through to all the power points in the van. When mains is disconnected, this guy takes over and delivers that 12 volt energy through to the system in the motorhome. While we're on mains power, it'll deliver charge into our batteries from mains. So our inverter charge is sitting here up in the corner here, the little silver box, DC to DC battery charger for vehicle charge system. That's a little 50 amp DC to DC charge converter. Um, allows us to charge these batteries while we're driving from our vehicle alternator. Next to that is the little Venus device. That allows us, it's a, like a hub, allows us to see the data from our inverter charger, the data from our solar controller, the data from our BMS, and allows it all to be collated onto one screen. This blue guy beside it, our 50 amp MPPT, again, that controls the 700 watts worth of solar that's on the roof. Now, this system is very robust and is overkill for what you would need, but it allows you to see what can and can't be done. 
Now, this system does allow, although it won't allow us to do it for very long, but with no mains connected, which you can see on this display, we can turn the air conditioning on in here and we will see the energy start to be drawn out of these batteries. So this is a soft start to Medic uh, air conditioner. So that wattage will ramp up from about 300 watts where it's at now, right up to a maximum of about 1200 watts. So drawing 1.2 kilowatts per hour out of these batteries or 1200 watt hours out of these batteries. So that's a significant load. The system's not gonna handle that for long, but it would allow us to cool the van for short periods on really hot days. 700 watts of solar on the roof. It will keep up to the aircon, you know, a little bit. Starting to ramp up now, 700 watts worth of power coming out of our batteries. Our state of charge has dropped from 99% and will continue to drop the longer we run that air conditioner. So we'll turn that back off. That'll take uh, 30 seconds to ramp down. And again, we'll see that wattage disconnect. So we're gonna turn power back on in the van, simulating pl plugging in at a caravan park to allow us to see the energy coming back into the system and the batteries recharging. That inverter charger will take that power from the grid or from a generator or from any, any 240 volt source and allow us to charge those batteries back up. So I'll just get that power turned back on now. So mains will come back on. The inverter charger will sense that mains power is available. We'll hear a little click. There it goes. And we will see that input wattage there start to increase. Okay, small hum from the inverter charger and that wattage will increase as we charge those lithium batteries. So 1.3 uh, kilowatts or 1350 watts of energy being drawn from the grid. I'll just check this for you. So up on that top left hand corner, we can see the battery voltage rising, putting in about 66 amps per hour into those lithium batteries. So the charger has kicked in. Okay, these lithium batteries can absorb a hell of a lot of energy, so they will charge up from, from mains. So we've turned mains back off now, um, and we can see the energy being drawn out of the batteries. So we've got a lot of lights on in here. The fridge is actually off. The inverter will be drawing power. It's powering the clock on the microwave and the clock on the range hood. So there's energy coming out of the system. You know, we're drawing 10 amps of power out of our batteries right now. So that, that's a fair whack of power, that's 120 watts of lighting and standby loads within this vehicle. Sun will come out tomorrow, the batteries will start to recharge. We've got plenty of stored capacity there to make it through the night. The three-way fridge, if we're not on power and we're free camping, it's gonna be running on gas. We're just keeping up to our 12 volt appliances. So this gives you an idea of the capabilities of a decent setup. You know, there's a lot of cost involved in here. Um, not everyone needs lithium batteries. You could do this same setup with um, some good quality AGM batteries or good quality deep cycle batteries. So it, it does allow you to be more independent when you're on the road, use more of the creature comforts from home and manage your system better. You can see battery voltage, you can see state of charge, you can see what's happening with the ins and outs of your energy system to ensure that you don't go flat while you're on the road so that you have a good time. Your fridge stays cold, the lights stay on, and everything just works. Thanks for your time. Uh, happy to, uh, to answer any of your questions. Uh, drop in and see us at the stores. Come and see us at the shows. Uh, cheers.